Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we're going to go ahead and finish off the last of the Deadly Sins here. And then I want to do just a tiny bit of grinding so we can get those level 11 jobs. Bang. Alright, let's go fight. This is the last of the seven Deadly Sins for the Yokai class. Look at the monument! Huh? We all know the routine by now. Care to do the honors, Magnolia? Last but not least, Satan, the manifestation of wrath. We're fighting Look Satan. Sharp, everyone. I guess we're just fighting Satan. That's just how easy it is in this world. Just get Satan, guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and default with everyone here. Slash. Okay. Literally slash for nothing. So, didn't really didn't hurt that badly there. Wrath. Ooh. That could be bad. Okay, let's go ahead and do Time, Meteor, with a Rain. Do that twice. Let's go ahead and put Resurrection on a Mist, along with a Benediction on a Mist. We should be good here. Yeah, hopefully these Mists from Tiz should at least... If something happens while well, Berserk, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I also could just finish off this. I could just finish off this boss super, super quickly here. But Adia seems to be attacking it, so it's not even that big of an issue, honestly. Which is fair enough for me. Okay. We did it. We really did it. Wait, how many were left? <sighs> That was uh, the last one! Huh? What's this? To my ever loyal Minister of the Right, keep up the hard work. And thanks for all the croissants? Yoko. Yes, I shall redouble my efforts. Again with the croissants! Doesn't she care about anything but food? <laughs> Look who's talking. Okay, and that is all of the seven rats. Now, real quick, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and equip some of our uh, more stuff. So, United Garb here. Let's put the um, Freelancer Garb here. Let's do the bunny here, and we can do the chompette coat there. Now, here's what I want to do. Let's take a look at what their jobs are. So, I want to look at their level 11 jobs for every single person. So, we got Spellcraft 5, which lets us use Nova. Um, okay, I guess we got to do job by job. White Mage lets us use Rise or Raise All. Okay. What about Magnolia? Bully. Increases damage dealt by 10% for every status affliction your target currently suffers from. Okay, and then imp reverse the effect of all attribute bonuses and penalties. If this ability is used again while already in effect, the duration will be overwritten. Okay. Hmm. So if I'm debuffed, I can just turn that into a buff? Fair enough. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grind a little bit just to get to that level 11 for everyone. Just for... Because why not? Okay, everybody. So, I just did a tiny, tiny bit of grinding literally right in front of me here. You could see that I got everyone to their legendary job state. So, everyone is level 11. We can all use now all of this. Now, I don't... Where do I buy Nova? Do I... Do I already own Nova? Hey, everybody. So, let's stop um, wasting time. Let's just go to the main dungeon. We've got really nothing else to do, except finish the game, really? I mean, we've got some post-game stuff to do, but, you know, that's later, so... Yeah, let's just continue. We're in the Norende Ravine here. We've got... Party chat. A road oft-traveled. How many times have I been down this road? As a kid, I was told never to come here alone. Here be monsters, everyone said. But we played here anyway. When the great chasm swallowed Norende, they carried me to Carl's Inn in Caldisla. I woke up a week later and came racing down this road again. I had, I had just, I just had to see it with my own eyes. 
but it was gone. Not a trace left. I met Agnes on the precipice, and we hurtled back down this road together, chasing after the turning airship. Each time that we crossed the boundaries into another world, we raced up and down this road again and again, gritting our teeth tight against the pain, the regret we felt. And when the great chasm gave rise to the dark aurora, we struck down this road one last time towards our final battle. How many more times will we walk down this road? As many times as we have to until we've wiped away these those terrible memories once and for all. The next time we walk down this road, it'll be it'll be to visit the new Norandi village, the one you helped rebuild. I'll be there too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Count me in too. We're all in this together. My friends. Yeah, that would be nice. All of us. Together. Okay. So this trail is 65 through 69 level recommendation, but of course... We are 999, or just 99, not 999 technically, so we really shouldn't have any trouble with it. Okay, one of these goes to treasure, one of them, the other one goes to treasure, so I lost What kind of thing this holds? Turbo Ether, okay. But yeah, let's go down here and go in. Here. We've got the save guy here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Let's rest at a cottage. I don't think I have anything to heal, but I'm just going to do it just in case anyway here. Okay. And then we could give it a quick save. Bang, bang. And uh, let's just uh, head inside, I guess. What do we have to wait for? You! Huh? What are you? <laughs> How predictable. Come to stop me, have you? I mean, kinda, yeah. Got nothing better to do. So you were the one behind the balls. <clears throat> Sorry, wrong answer. It's my master who creates them. I'm just in charge of transportation. Your master? But the Kaiser is... Denny is gone. <laughs> Did you hear that? He actually thought I meant his stupid brother. I speak of my true master. Lord Providence. Ruler of the Celestial Realm. He who would deign to descend upon your lowly rock and usher it into a new age of enlightenment. After he kills you all, of course. That's what the balls were for. But then those stupid moon people had to get in the way, so Master sent me to prepare your world for his grand entrance. By blowing the moon out of the sky. But it looks like I don't need to bother with that anymore. After all, I have a shortcut to the Celestial Realm right here, don't I? A shortcut to the Celestial Realm? The Great Chasm is... You're pretty sharp for a blockhead. Yes, now I can send fully primed balls to all corners of the realm with the greatest of ease. It'll only be a matter of time before Lord Providence himself arrives. Dee? Uh, 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 you have no idea what a pain this assignment has been. First, I had to find a way to deal with my little sister's ridiculous plans. Then, I had to find someone stupid enough to summon the Holy Pillar for me. Hold it right there. That's my brother you're talking about. Who else? He did work hard, I'll give him that. Danced right along to my tomb like the good little puppet he was. To deny this miserable world and build a new one in its place. To rewrite the past and forge a new future, this is your duty. No matter what the sacrifice, no matter how terrible the deeds you may do, we must change this world for the better. He ate it all up. <laughs> it was all I could do not to laugh. Why, he was even ready to kill his own precious little brother for his duty. Never even once realizing he was doing it all for a little old me. What 
a dupe. <laughs> That's enough from you! Denny saw through your lies in the end. He chose to save us, to save Luxendark, and he did so of his own free will! Denny died to save this world. I will not let you make a mockery of his sacrifice! Ooh, such admirable resolve. But I'm afraid you really don't have much choice in the matter. When Lord Providence descends, Lux and Dark as you know it will be completely and I'll utterly up destroyed. Too. The precious world your idiot brother died to save will be wiped out in a week. Alright. Uh, at last! It's the moment we've been waiting for, Master! In return for your brother's loyal service, allow me to give you a parting gift before your world is destroyed forever. A gift of me, <laughs> like you've never seen me before. We seen we seen this in the last game too. So, all right, let's see what is she gonna look like. Okay, looks like Airy, sort of. Let's go ahead and default, default, default on everyone here. Okay, Dark Flare did literally nothing. Once again, did didn't really do anything. Shall I tell you a little secret? Sure. My sole duty is to prepare this world for Lord Providence's descent. You could say it was the very reason I was born. But you humans, you're not born for any real purpose at all. That is why you're always lost. Why you struggle. You lack purpose, so you're weak. I live. I exist only to serve my master. My duty gives me strength. Strength I will use to destroy you all! Nah. Dark Flare. See, that Dark Flare doesn't do much. How do you think you're gonna destroy me when you use that? Okay, let's use Nova. Okay, but no, let's use a Rain here. I wonder. I wanna use Nova for something, but there's not really much to use it with. Let's go ahead and use Resurrect. Is a mist. And then, um, Mac. Whatever that is, is a mist. Let's go ahead and use. A free lunch along with some amp strikes and a dia can go ahead let's increase her hit count and then just do some attacks and we should be good here what are you fairies anyway huh what are we well what are you humans give it up tiz like you're gonna get a real answer out of her <laughs> why we are loyal servants, birthed by the will of the gods. I was born first, and Aerie after me. Not that I feel any sisterly love, of course. Why, that Ouroboros creature she served would have destroyed the celestial realm. That's not something I could easily overlook. But you and your friends were kind enough to stop her for me. Here I thought we were on the same side. <laughs> Yet here you are, standing in my way. Well, not for long. Whatever did I do to ruin such a promising friendship? Oh well, it's nothing that can't be solved. By blasting you into itty bitty pieces. Okay, just give me one second and... Yeah, we're gonna hit her with about more than 10k with each hit with a Dia. And more if we just crit. Yeah, see, a, literally a single hit was 6k. Undermine. Okay. That's okay. It's reduced to one, but it's really not that big of a deal. Because now, if she gets killed, she just gets resurrected, so it doesn't even matter. But Anne even might die before that. How irritating. Yeah, that was the easiest fight of my life. No problem. No problem. <laughs> You've gone and done it, haven't you? Not that it matters anymore. Lord Providence cometh any moment now. All you can do is wait, wait for the end. Master, aren't you proud of... <laughs> Hmm. 
Providence, she said. Altair, you're here. There's something I wanted to ask. And I think I know what it is. Yes, it is surely as you have suspected. This Providence has control of Vega. I must apologize to you, Magnolia. Diamante, the ball who destroyed your home. It too was doubtless birthed from Vega's memories. Don't apologize, Altair. I know it isn't your fault, or Vega's. It's the false god Providence that's behind all this suffering. He's the one we need to punish. Altair, you've been a true friend. You helped us rescue Pope Agnes. If someone you love is being held captive, we're gonna return the favor. It's as simple as that. Yeah, we're gonna crush a god! I mean, save Vega from Providence. My children, there is so much good in you. I am proud to have shared this journey together. This journey ain't over yet, so let's get moving! <laughs> Indeed. What is it you always say at times like this? Come, you. Let us deliver our piece de radicchio. Uh, right. Well, let's give it our all, everyone. Yes. But how? Do we just wait here for this providence to appear? No. We will invade the celestial realm ourselves. During my lifetime, I poured my heart and soul into finding a way to the Celestial Realm, but my research bore no fruit. Imagine my surprise when I came here, to find a closer connection to the Celestial Realm than anywhere else in this world! But see for yourselves! The Great Chasm. Stay strong, Idia. It's covered in some strange black mist. That mist is a sign of a dimensional fluctuation. A holy battleground and an angel's descent. A chasm of darkness and a glimmering ship. All the bonds of fate tied to this place have gathered here, creating tremors in space and time. So what do we do? We must clear the mists, for beyond them, if my theory is correct, lies the path we seek. You, the pendant you carry, it has the power to connect the hearts of individuals even beyond worlds. If we channel its powers and take advantage of these fluctuations, we may be able to lift the mists. Everyone must come together in prayer. All right, everyone. Let's give it our all. <sighs> Nothing yet? Keep trying. Focus and pray. I don't know how I can pray any harder. <sighs> Your help is most appreciated. The mists will not part. Do our prayers still lack in strength? Please, someone, help us! Guess that's me, right? Give us the strength we need! That's it. The mists are clearing. I can see the path to the Celestial Realm! Do not let up, my children! Finally! I've done it! No! We've done it! I'm coming for you, Vega! <sighs> <sighs> we... we did it. <sighs> Come on, everyone. 
The Celestial Realm awaits. It's time to save Vega and our world from the clutches of the False God Providence. Let's do this. Okay, so I think... Can we save? Okay, we can't save right here, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Let's just go ahead and uh, jump in this portal right here. Via Celestio. This is the path to the Celestial Realm? What is all this? It's like the strange images we saw when fighting the balls. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Vega's memories must be influencing the very landscape around us. Like this memory. Of our first meeting. Ooh, let's hear it. Details, out with them. <laughs> you truly wish to know. I typically keep the details of my private affairs private but we are all friends now so lend me your ears you got him spill we met at a ski resort i boarded a chairlift only to find a charming young lady in the next seat as we were climbing up the mountain a great blizzard came sweeping through and the lift stopped the girl beside me looked afraid so I reached out to pluck a winter bloom from a nearby tree. Wow, look who's Mr. Smooth. Though some might say giving a flower to a girl you've just met might be a bit forward. <laughs> forward or no, it was for naught. She went off that day without so much as telling me her name. Now this false god has stolen and twisted that memory. We have to free her. We'll release Vega from these evil bonds. You bet we will. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we can go up here. Can I can I control the encounter rate? Okay, I can control the encounter rate down here, which is nice. So I'm not going to take any encounters, just f so we can explore here. We'll take some encounters later in the game, just so we can see what's here. But just for right now, I really don't feel like taking these encounters. Let's just keep running around doing what we do here. Okay, so it looks like, what's over here? Okay, so that is how we get to another dimension, I'm guessing. Okay, so if we take this yes yeah, the only one we could take at the moment that'll take us here okay we got another chest here lordly robes is that any better here uh maybe for tiz here no so what does everyone plan to do after the battle ends Good question. I'll probably go back and help Father and Anyas with the peace agreement. But I guess we'll still be working together. I certainly do hope so. What about you, sir? I'll probably just head back to Narende and, you know, live the slow life there. I sure hope so. Last time you said that, you wouldn't collapsed. You scared us after death. Sorry about that. And, um, Magnolia? Are you still planning to go? Back to the moon, that is. Yes, it is my home after all. I have to help my people get their lives back together. Uh, yes. Of course. What about you? Oh, oh well, first I've got to work on reforming the Crystal Guard. And... Um, well, the rest is, uh, private. All right, back to business, everyone. There's no time for chit-chat. Okay, we continue walking. It looks like there's a chest up here. 
Let's grab this one. Mega Elixir. Okay, that could that could come in handy. I love Mega Elixirs because they not only heal HP and MP, but they also revive? Or maybe they don't revive, but maybe they just do it for the entire party, right? Something along those lines. This is... Oh, I thought something happened. I'm like, whoa. Should we ask? I feel kind of bad poking around in his private affairs. My, my. You are insatiable, my young friends. So tell me, do you believe in fate? Vega and I were reunited the following spring. I had achieved some success as a researcher. <laughs> well, at the risk of sounding boastful, considerable success. My superiors, feeling threatened, had me transferred. It was envy, plain and simple. Not yet having the wisdom of years, I sulked and despaired my fate. In a desperate attempt to get back at those I felt had wronged me, I dashed out into the rain with no cover whatsoever. I risked more than simply catching cold. In those times, severe pollution had made the rain acidic. As I trudged along in sodden despair, a woman came dashing after me, umbrella in hand. Oh, that was Vega! Yes, she was a colleague at the remote research facility to which I had been transferred. All of us! How could one not believe in fate? What a remarkable coincidence, I thought. In the small space we shared beneath that umbrella, we finally introduced ourselves. But wait, how curious. If the memory of that ski lift became a ball, that means... <laughs> Vega, my dearest, you remembered as well. I guess it really was... Fate, huh? Indeed. Okay. Where are we going next here? Uh, forward? Down? Left? Up? F we're in phase two. Let's go this way. Grab the wine here. Alright, we can go this way. I'm like, not gonna lie, I'm kind of tripping. Okay, so we can go this way. Over here. We can go over there. Now, quickly, did I? I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. I can't actually go... I See, that's what I'm saying right here. I can actually go down, I'm guessing, with this. If I go there, it'll take me down here. I can go and grab these items first. Okay, now is there anything... Okay. Okay, so go back in here. Now, what I need to do is go back and go down this one here. And that should take me to the other one, right? And with that, we should be able to go here and get this chest. Which is the Kaiser Knuckles. Okay. Alright, and now we can head up to the blue. And we should be good. But guys, I'm actually going to end this episode off here. And we'll probably end up finishing the game next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.